there are three things that you do to maximize time three things and then we'll connect it with the theme for tonight three things number one the first assignment you have as far as times and seasons are concerned is to master the art of discerning seasons you need discernment the bible says and of the sons of issachar men who had an understanding of the times discern seasons you must know how to discern time how do you discern time the word of god is the instrument of discernment the word of god primarily is the instrument of discernment the word of god is the primary instrument for discernment number two study the nature of the dealings of the spirit with you and it can help you to point seasons you can there is a way god begins to deal with you suddenly god gives you an instruction you are going on 30 days prayer and fasting and tells you you are going to wake up every night even before pastor nath does his hallelujah challenge god tells you you will start your own one week before him there are events around your life that already become pointers if you can discern the bible says when jesus was born there was a star and those who were wise men the magi they could read the star and they came with precision they were not born again they were not led of the spirit they used secular wisdom using light they came right where jesus was hallelujah you can discern seasons what is happening in my life i noticed in the last one week everybody is giving me money everybody is, is telling me listen come and do this someone wanted to preach and he said i'm busy can you stand in for me god what are you saying what are you saying most believers do not have not trained their faculty of discernment so we do not know when we step into very defining moments there are people you know that ordinarily you should not meet lord why did you give me access to be among these great people what should i do now and we waste it, we laugh around, we eat and we leave only to find out that that door will not be open like that again. If Joseph came before Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, I'm not here to interpret your dreams. Number one, go and catch Potiphar's wife. You don't know what has happened to me. Let me tell you, I'm here to defend myself. You know what would have happened to him if he did not drop his offense and childishness and focus on the seasons he he would have said now that i'm with you pharaoh even if i die let me die you know how people behave an innocent man has been in prison in x number of years plus the two years that were added as a result of the wickedness of the one presser he refused to remember me and pharaoh said, okay i've had you we are really sorry about everything go back to the prison or go back to your father's house either ways he would not have succeeded but when he got there the ability to have prepared and once he got there pharaoh said this is my dream and he laughed he said pharaoh it's not about cows it's not about plants you have seen a mystery that connects you to the laws of seasons that there will always be seasons of plenty and of luck now let me recommend save 20 percent of this and that and pharaoh said now you are talking within that moment joseph rose and became prime minister no election no voting you would see joseph and say where did you come from let me tell you where he came from from the dreamer to the pit to his faithfulness in the house of potiphar to his getting to the prison even though he was innocent all of them were counting for that day every time you see a day of favor a day of favor is equal to many days of preparation a day of manifestation that was well utilized is a cumulative of many 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 great days i will never waste seasons in my life because in my mind every day counts every day counts I won't pray I won't say I'm too tired to pray today after all there is tomorrow remember the power of the day after tomorrow comes from the prayer of yesterday and today is a cumulative 
we continue to abort seasons because we waste our every day you get up in the morning you sleep you know anytime you are not serious you are not at anything no project there is nothing that is running and driving your life the bible says to learn from jesus when jesus showed up there was nothing enough to distract him he had set his face like a flint about my father's business at age 12 even his parents came to look for him say why are you looking for me don't you go to the temple don't they read the scriptures did you not hear that i should be about my father's business that sense of urgency now is the acceptable time and that is true but you see your now is a cumulative of everything you have done with your chronos when god announces you it is because he has given you an opportunity to prepare and if that season comes ladies and gentlemen and you are not prepared you know what happens seasons will recycle again truly you will find out that a realm you should have entered a door that should have opened for you there are people who sit down and keep regretting and shouting and saying, listen, I've not been promoted, I've not been lifted, this is unfair. In this church, by now, by my status, I should be a pastor. By now, I should be an apostle. By now, I should be a prophet. In fact, it's just because of condition. I should be rich by now. All those explanations do not count. Every day, you do this to the list of the brethren. You come to church, you are sweeping. It's counting. Are we together? Yeah. How you use your time. For Ruth to be the wife of Boaz, she didn't just appear one day and say, listen, are you going to marry me or not? Or you are going to waste prophecy? I'm going to be a grandmother of Jesus. No. <laughs> Naomi advised her and said, everything you do in that field, we're coming there tomorrow because we're going to be talking about the global harvest. Hallelujah. Yes. It is a kairos moment among the many things the greatest time in human history right now for the global harvest but you need to draw a lesson from the life of ruth because naomi told her he said when you get to the field don't be distracted there is something within the field that is for you when you go there be cautious everything you do will count and when she went there she gleaned with honor and respect and the elders and the people there was boaz there and he saw her he said who is this that is diligent and faithful he said do not hurt her allow her to take as much and she went back to ruth she maximized every day until she stepped into the lineage of jesus john utilized every day until he got to a point where he started wasting his chronos through offense through bitterness and one time he said, go and tell Jesus, are you the Messiah or should we expect another? Jesus said, something has happened to you. Offense has come into you. And he died as a birthday gift. A prophet who prophesied, the Bible says, of all the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, mighty men. None was like John. And look how his life ended. The birthday gift for a girl dancing before the king. They went to remove his head. When I learned this principle, believe me, you go, you go to my room now, you put on my laptop, you will see there is a message and there is a study. There are no lazy moments in my life. If I wake up, this is the day the Lord has made. We are ready to walk. I must walk the works of him that sent me. It has nothing to do with invitation. It has nothing to do with ministrations. I can tell you with all due respect, and humility that I have stepped into seasons in my life and even in ministry they didn't seem to carry a semblance of those honor it's just that thank God I was prepared there have been times I found myself in the midst of people and they say apostle we're going to give you this time you're going to talk this is what you will talk about there was no Bible there there was no nothing there was no not it was from the residue of that preparation he told elijah eat eat now you will not have that opportunity eat now he ate and he went back to sleep the angel tapped him and said don't you understand times and seasons 
eat now and the bible says he went 40 days on the strength of what he has eaten for someone let me tell you the assignment that god is giving you right now you will not have the opportunity now that you do not yet have children god is saying fast and pray because your first set it will be a set of twins while you are saying amen let me tell you the other side of that story are we together you will be surprised that the five six seven eight hours there are many people today who by reason of biological timing don't have the strength again to be able to pray and fast and do certain things while there were people who were taking care of your needs god said keep investing in your spiritual life but you refuse now respectfully speaking maybe your dad has gone to be with the lord your mom has gone to be with the lord the family responsibility is now on you the time you should use to pray and fast you have to use it to look for money if you understand this law of time and seasons you it will change your life in a way that you cannot imagine that every day counts every day counts every day counts every moment counts for someone god can tell you okay while you are trusting god for a husband or a wife quickly do the masters now quickly do the phd now because the level of commitment that it would demand of you it can cost your home utilize the time mm -mm. i have all the time is my life the foolishness of a generation that has dropped has torn people down there are others god will say i'm going to give you a great ministry but come to oasis and sit down and look for something to do and serve and you find out that god keeps sending you to places that are uncomfortable is because god wants you to taste of everything you will be a leader and you will be an overseer of a ministry how do you lead when you do not know the dynamics of leadership while the message is going on god will say okay they should allocate him to stand outside at the road and that person is going to be a mighty apostle and while you are standing someone sees you and says, i used to know you on campus is this how you have lost your fire you are standing as a protocol on the road and you will feel stupid uh-huh that's how great men abort greater destinies you stand there and god says you be patient and when god is done with you someday when you become a great leader someone will say listen I will be your biggest partner 20 years ago i came for oasis conference were you not the one who was standing at the door god told me 20 years later you will be a man of god i should sponsor it listen how do i express this thing most people have aborted times have aborted great destinies imagine if jesus kept saying i would die simple it's okay I'm going to die. That's the most important thing. Judas will betray me. I don't know when. I just know that I'm going to die and then I will purchase salvation. Let's eat and drink. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I am the savior of the world. Don't forget I am the logos of God. I am not a false prophet. Jesus would have been surprised. It was the prayer bank, the fasting bank, the commitment. You see that? all the women who later helped him when he died is because he helped them when he was alive if he didn't help them when he was alive his body would be there with nobody to come and clean him hallelujah so number one you must discern seasons let me hurry up number two you must know what steps to take when you come into seasons not every step is important when you get into certain defining seasons please listen to me you must know what steps to take the bible says and of the sons of issachar men who had an understanding of the time and to know what israel ought to do there is what you need to do when you come into certain seasons for some of you when you come into certain seasons it's a call for greater levels of consecration god will make certain demands on you unusual demands some of you are even in that season right now you need to know what to do by the spirit Lord, what do i need to do with this season and god says from now till january from 12 to 3 
let that be your prayer time that is my time meeting with you it is not a general instruction for everybody it is just from now till january if you miss because that opportunity is where it is within that encounter that the real mantle for your ministry will rest on you and if you do not know how to utilize that time many years ago uh, i used to go to our boys quarters and carry a stick stick and stand there and preach i would be shouting and preaching alone i didn't know my mother was hiding somewhere looking at me it was later in the future she told me one day because she had been praying my grandfather was uh, you know the first trustee a pioneer of a denomination so i come from a lineage of of uh, missionaries and, and and pastors she had been praying that either her younger brother or her son let god use at least one person and I was there, I would hold the sticks and I'd be preaching, preaching. And when it's time, I'll be laying hands on blocks. I mean it, I'm not, I'm not joking. And I would sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Literally. If I laid hands on blocks, how stubborn is the head that I would lay hands on that it will not be? Preparation preparation for some of you god has given you a mandate that you are going to serve the purposes of god with kings and as it is right now god cannot announce you because announcing you will be a tragedy to your own life so god will withhold your rising not every closed door is demonic there are closed doors that are a sign of god's mercy because you are in your kairos moment but you have wasted your chronos so god will give you a chance to start afresh again let's wrap up second corinthians 6 and verse 2 from where you got the theme second corinthians 6 and verse 2 it says for i have heard of thee in the time accepted and in the day of salvation i have succored thee it says behold now so you say now prophesy to yourself say now now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation now when he was speaking about this he was speaking with respect to salvation the new birth encounter we're coming there tomorrow are we together but for now salvation is the word soteria the greek word is all encompassing healing lifting breakthrough the fullness of the life and the power of God manifests. He says, now is the acceptable time. The acceptable time for the believer started from the time Jesus resurrected. Are we together now? Because you will see in other versions, the acceptable time is the time of his grace. That now the, the wall has been torn, the veil has been torn, and now we have access. In Christ, we can have access to our now. The acceptable time regardless what happened before that in christ today can be your day of salvation he says they heard the word just like we we, uh, we they heard the word just like um we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it he said today if you hear his word harden not your heart like they did in the wilderness so for someone god is speaking to you that this is your today today does not mean 24 just means your season your season of lifting your season of shining your season of being announced are we together now and because you know that it is your day your prayer now will be lord arise and have mercy upon me for the time to favor me for the time to lift me for the time to open up doors for me even the set time when you know your set time you maximize it by crying for mercy he says call on to me and i will answer you see mercy is not for sinners it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed are we together now don't make a mistake of thinking the prayer of mercy is for sinners it is by the mercy of god listen he says i will have mercy upon whom i will have mercy i will have compassion upon whom i will have compassion the moment you discern your season, you know that this is a defining moment for me. You begin to pray, God show me mercy. 
grant me access by your spirit to maximize this season oh blessed is the man who becomes a beneficiary of god's mercy i wish i had the time to open you up to the dimensions of god's mercy the mercy of god does not just mean pardoning for an offender no the mercy of god means to show pity to give you a leverage From the rising of the sun to the setting of the set, your name is to be honored. A few weeks ago, I just sensed very strongly in my heart that God will have me spend some extended time praying in the night nights are usually my time of prayer but i began to sense i'm wrapping up now i began to sense very strongly that a new season was going to open up for me and in one of the nights i was praying and just worshiping and i had a vision and every time i see god lifting me or going to another dimension i usually will see a military man and then you know how they dress military people that's what i saw and while i was praying i just sensed a very strong anointing of the holy spirit and the lord took me to jeremiah 1 from verse 9 he says authority over nations authority over nations to pull down to uproot there is a mantle and a grace for that see having power over cities having power remember in matthew 25 the parable of the five talent the reward that was given to them there are three levels of authority that a man can command on earth number one and is the least level is authority over things where god gives you access to money and not all of that the second level of authority you can command in the spirit is authority over nations and territories the highest level of authority a man can command is authority over God's program. God literally makes you a steward, not of nations, of his program. That means God will say for the next 10 years, there is a harvest of 100 million souls. You are the one I'm putting in charge of that program. Hallelujah. When I began to have that vision, I started praying. I said, Lord, whatever it would take, by your mercy and by your grace, you are granting us access and authority over systems, over nations. Let it be for your glory. Are we together now? I'm saying this because for I believe that for God to have put this thing, now is the acceptable time. For some of us, when you go back home, hallelujah challenge should not just end because it ended. You should do your own and pray and 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 pray and worship and say lord the demands of this new season now is the acceptable time heaven has already signified through this word that it is time for you to carry greater anointings it is time for you to step into mantles it is time for certain doors to be open i pray for you that you will not make the mistake of jacob jacob said the lord was in this place and i knew not man of god hear me you may need to subject yourself right now taking advantage of this time businessman for some of you you will need to settle down and pray we are going to pray for just one minute you don't even have to stand whether you are seated or standing you are going to cry unto god and say father i have i have for some of you you have you have mismanaged your chronos and right now that the kairos moment has come or is coming the truth is there is no spiritual redness i'd like you to cry for mercy from heaven 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 cry to the holder of times and seasons show mercy oh god cry for mercy oh god Someone is crying. Show me mercy to maximize every day 
to maximize every day as I prepare for that defining moment. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He that is faithful in little, it says he is faithful in much. If you are unfaithful in the unrighteous mammon, he said, who shall commit to you the true riches of the kingdom? Let me encourage you that tomorrow while you are coming, please invite every other person. We may not be able to have the time to pray for people, but one of the things I hope we'll do tomorrow is to invoke the mercy of God over your years, not just your body. We need to cry and say, Lord, the remaining time I have, can you place honor and grace and mercy upon it that my remaining one and a half month in 2022 will be like 10 years put together because that something has happened to that time. You redeem time by crying for mercy that the Lord of time will do something upon that time. But for now, let me speak over your life. I stand in partnership with the grace that is upon this altar and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, obtain grace to maximize your chronos. Obtain grace to pray. Obtain grace to fast. Obtain grace to worship. Obtain grace to be on fire. Obtain grace to connect to the right people. Obtain grace to be diligent in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare that the spirit that is called a waster, that wastes years, any association, any relationship, anything at all you are connected to, that is a programming from hell to waste your years, I declare you are free from it right now. Pastor Nat, is it all right? To request that the people come with their prayer request tomorrow will that be fine okay i want you tomorrow even for your loved ones who may not make it and for those who are falling online i trust that you also be a miracle service here tomorrow so you can send in i believe use the link the media team in oasis here would 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 give the link you can send in your prayer request please from all over the world europe america send in your prayer request we are going to collate it here and the god of heaven will arise as a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you and the lord increase you in jesus name i pray may god bless you as you have listened to this message preached by jesua shema decreed over you that your time that you have lost will be recovered in the name of jesus as you walk towards these three things that recover and must my time your time will never waste anymore in the name of jesus if you have not subscribed to this channel endeavor to do it in the name of jesus and god will always reach out to you remain blessed and always be blessed